Hello and welcome to another project panning video of mine. This is the finale for the Pandas Eyeshadows Project 10 2023 for me. And if you watch my videos within this project pen, you will know that I always work on six shades at a time and I don't use blacks or glitters or duplicate shades and I do roll in backup shades. Um, but let's head right into this finale. The first eyeshadow that I did use within the last month and that was in this project for me was within this Visi Art Koi palette. And it actually was the shade Koi, which is the second shade in here. And you can clearly see that I did not really use the other shades. This is quite new in my collection and I immediately rolled this in <laughs> to my Pandas eyeshadows. So yeah, that's why. But I did use this shade 14 more times the last month for a total of 31 times. So my goal with all of the eyeshadows that I do have in here is to either hit pan on them or use them 30 times before rolling them out. So I did hit my goal on this one this time around with 31 uses so I would be able to roll this out. I am always watching all of these for you to see a little bit. So that's Koi and I think you're able to see it's quite subtle but at the same time reflective. It's very very nice to use in my opinion. I really did enjoy this. I did use it on my lower lash line a lot and that's how I really enjoyed using this. It really really pops uh, underneath the lower lash line. That's what I used this for and it was very fun to use again. So that's the first shade I was working on and I was able to roll it out. Next in this project is the Sigma Corderosa palette and I'm showing you the shade that's in here. So the shade that I was working on within this palette is Summer Song and you can basically not even tell that I used it. <laughs> it's super super pigmented. I did use this one 16 times the last month for a total of 27. So I'm shy three uses using this one. Um, I did not reach my goal on this one. But again, I'm going to swatch this for you guys. And that's not a nice swatch again. <laughs> but that's the swatch of it. You can see it's pigmented. Then we have a single cream shadow by Sydney Grace in here. This is in the shade Starry Night. And within the last month, I did use this one 10 times for a total of 30 times. So I also did reach my goal on this one. And this is super, super nice to use. I really, really enjoyed this. I enjoyed this even more than I thought I would because it's super blendable. It doesn't leave a sticky feeling on the lid. It didn't crease on me, but I have to say I only use this on the outer part of my lid. So um, I normally don't have issues with creasing there. So I cannot really tell if it wouldn't crease using it all over the lid. Um, yeah, but I'm going to swatch it out for you to see it a bit at least. And it's super, super blendable. I really, really enjoyed that. It could be a little tiny bit more impactful, like on the finger, like the blue to it. It could have had a little bit more of that one, in my opinion, but I still really enjoy. enjoyed using this one a lot, a lot. And I... You are going to see more colors and I was able to use all of them together quite a bit and that's why I used all of them that much. 
another single shadow. This is a Colourpop Super Shock shadow in the shade Rooftop Cocktails. And I'm going to show it to you like this. I did use this one 13 more times the last month for a total of 27 as well. So both of these have 27 uses on them. I would have never ever thought that this would last that long. <laughs> Normally super shock shades are so easy to hit pen on. Um, yeah, but I still have no pen on this one. So I did not use, uh, I did not reach my goal on this one, even though I did use it 27 times already. And that's it swatched out. And I'm going to show you this Sigma one, uh, the Sigma one, the Sydney Graves one next to each other, ne next to the Colourpop one, because I think they are a bit similar, because they both have a brownish, purplish, reddish base and a blue shift to it. But like this, you can actually this time very clearly see the difference. The Colourpop one is way, way lighter, has a sheerer base to it. Um, yeah, I often did use this one first and then this one layered on top of it, which was also quite fun to do. Next up is this Elf Bite Size palette in Hot Jalapeno. And within this palette, I did have the third shade in here and I did use this one 15 times the last month for a total of 20 now. So again, I did not reach my goal with this one, but I'm going to swatch it out. And just a fair warning, <laughs> this swatches terribly, but I'm still going to swatch it. This time, well, it's okay. It's swatched better than the last time. <laughs> Let's do this again. Um, well, that's it. That's the elf shade. And this one I also did use a lot. So far, the shades you are able to see, I used all of them together in one look. And this one I used to deepen up my outer crease a lot. And therefore I kind of did not use it on its own yet. I always used it layered on top of a lighter brown shade or an orange leaning shade. So I cannot say how this would perform just using it on its own. But using it the way I did, I so far enjoyed it. And last but not least is this Touch of Glam single eyeshadow in the shade Butter Me Up. And I did use this one 14 times as well for a total of 18 times now. So again, I did not reach my goal on it, but this has been in here for one uh, for two months now. Um, so I didn't have that much time and 14 uses in a month is great, I think. Um, but I'm swatching this as well. And again, this one I also did use in all of the looks. I layered quite a bit. I put this one underneath my lower lash line. I put this one on the outer half of the lid. I layered this one, no, I put this one in the inner half of the lid and then I layered this one on top of it in the middle and the outer part of the lid. And these two I used in the crease and I also did use a little bit of a lighter shade because these are quite dark shades for me. But yes, this, this is the color story that I did work on the last month. If you watch my videos, you will know I always use or I almost always roll in backup shades and that's what I did do so. And I'm going to show you that one as well for this finale now. 
Um, it's a Colourpop single shade. Oh no, it's actually not a single shade. I just depotted this one. This is from the Semi Precious palette. And I wrote this in as a backup shade last month. And I already did use it nine times. So this would kind of roll in now. So I'm swatching it here. And that's the shade. And this is super, super nice. I just absolutely, absolutely love the quality of these shimmers. I am so sad Colourpop isn't doing this kind of formula anymore. But anyway, <laughs> let's talk about this finale. So now you can see all of the shades I did have in here within the last month. And again, I this was a very, very successful month because I used them together a lot, a lot. And therefore I used all of these a lot in total. And uh, let's just talk a little bit about my Pandas Eyeshadows <laughs> project. I think you got the gist of it just right now. I always did do it the same way this year because I really, really did enjoy it that way. In total, I only hit pen on two shadows, which is very, 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 very little. But again, also understandable because I did purchase a lot, a lot of eyeshadows within the last few years. And therefore I have a lot of eyeshadows that I did not use. I did only use a little bit. So when rolling these in, I'm not able to hit pen on them. I am making progress on them, but I'm not able to hit pen on them. Um, I did hit my third usage goal on 21 shades though, which I'm very happy about. So I did go and rotate through quite a bit of my shadows. And again, I'm also inserting a picture or a slide um, or several pictures with all of the color stories throughout the month from January, uh, throughout the month, throughout the year from January to December. So you are able to see all the different colors that were in this project within the year of 2023. And yeah, it was very fun. It was quite different color stories. I went from a very neutral palette to a very bright and colorful one, and then to a quite a fall one again, which is super, super fun but also super interesting because it kind of was very, very right for the season. <laughs> so the very colorful one was spring and summertime and the other two were like winter and fall, which was <laughs> quite interesting to see because I r roll in all of my eyeshadows with this project randomly. <laughs> so it turned out quite nice for me this year. And yes, if you're interested to know, I'm going to do this project pen within 2024 again. And I'm probably going to start off with these and rolling in a sixth shade to complete this color story and keep working on these, especially because I only have three more uses to go with these two. And then I'm already able to use them uh, to roll them out. So <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. But this has been the finale video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested, then go ahead and check out my intro for 2024 as soon as it's also up here on YouTube. Again, thank you for watching this video and this series for me. I really, really enjoyed this project. I had lots of fun. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.